Hi folks. I did not have a bad start into the year, at least collection wise. I was able to buy two prototypes on eBay which should perfectly fit into my retro computer collection. First there was this next next station computer prototype including a next keyboard and the next mouse. It is uh, supposed to be fully working. Then there's this uh, Sinclair ZX Spectrum Plus computer prototype which is not really a prototype, it's a mock-up of the unit. Well, about the next, I already own a next station, a next keyboard and a next mouse, but uh, the computer is incomplete, hard drive is missing and some other components like battery, so I was never able to fire it up. So I'm really happy to get this parcel from the United States, which uh, has this fully working next computer in it. Then this parcel from the United Kingdom has the ZX Spectrum Plus mock-up in it. And this will perfectly fit into my Sinclair collection, where I now own a mock-up of this uh, Sinclair Spectrum Plus. So let's go unboxing those beauties. Unboxing uh, rare items is always something uh, very exciting, at least for me. So this is quite a heavy box. What we have here is a partial I got uh, from the United States. Uh, earlier this week and uh, let's open it. Okay, so uh, what we will find inside is a retro computer. It's a prototype of a next computer, of a next station, and uh, it includes a keyboard and a mouse. So Let's remove the computer from the box and put the box away. Okay, now a little bit more relaxed. We have here uh, the computer, then the keyboard and uh, the mouse. So uh, let's start with the computer. I'm happy that it's packed well. I wrote to the seller to pack it well and uh, I'm really happy he did. Because uh, this is supposed to be a working machine. Bubbles all over. Okay. Now we're close and uh, that's the bottom of the machine and the nice thing about it is, uh, I hope you can see it, here is a label, it's written on it, next computer prototype 214. So this is supposed to be a, a prototype of a next station. And uh, some of you may already know that uh, I already own the next station 
and that I have a special relationship to Next Computer. A, it was uh, the computer of my dreams in the early 90s. And second, uh, that's a family issue. The cousin of my wife, uh, his name is Tim Bucher, has been uh, playing a major role in the development of the next station. Okay, so computer from the back and I see that here on the edge there is a small damage to the plastic, nothing serious. Okay, put it on the table. Open it up and uh, we see that the computer uh, seems to be complete, uh, completely uh, populated with uh, a battery, with uh, the chips, with the memory, with the hard disk drive, the floppy disk drive, the power supply. It needs some cleaning and uh, some uh, action to make sure that it will not get damaged when I first fire it up. But the uh, seller told me that he got it from another guy in 2008, which got it from a guy who was originally working with this machine as a BSD developer. And uh, those guys uh, told each other that the machine is in working condition, but over the years it may have uh, Suffering a bit, I see inside the case there is some oxidation and I will be very careful before I fire it up. But I'm really excited and happy to own this uh, beauty now. Then there's the keyboard. Okay. Let's open the keyboard. It's supposed to be a brand new keyboard, not previously used by a user and uh, the seller stated that it's still in original, original uh, package. Yes, there's a label N 192 next keyboard and it's uh, in a plastic bag which looks like uh, factory new. Great! It's an English American keyboard but this is no problem for me so uh, I'm happy. And now here's the mouse. Let's uh, open the mouse and see what we have inside. Okay, a next computer mouse, two buttons. This one seems to be a, a used mouse, so it's not brand new, but uh, no problem for me either. So that's my Next computer prototype I recently acquired. Okay, let's continue. I have another parcel, which is this one. I got this a uh, few days ago. It's from the UK, has been delivered by UPS. Let's unbox uh, this one. I take care that uh, all the papers get no damage and uh, let's see what's inside. Okay. I wrote to the seller to pack it well and uh, 
as far it, as it looks she did it, packed it well. Okay, getting closer and here there is something inside. Let's put the box away and yeah, lightweight. Let's uh, look what it is. I'm feeling like uh, a little boy at Christmas, even it's almost uh, already January. So we're closer now. Anyone? Now careful to not damage it. Here it is. Anyone? It's a Sinclair ZX Spectrum Plus home computer launched in uh, autumn 1984. Okay. I already own quite a few of those beasts, but this one is special because even it looks like a computer, it isn't. It's a prototype of this computer and not a fully working prototype. In fact, it's a mock-up which has no moving keys. The keys are glued on this top and the whole unit is handcrafted by the designers and engineers at Sinclair. Sinclair experts will uh, spot the differences like no stands and they will also see that the plastic is painted and the original computer are really black plastic and this is white material painted black and as I said no moving keys. So let's get a screwdriver and open this one. Takes me a minute, I'm back. No fear, this was no explosion, just the bubbles of the plastic. Now open it, one screw. I'm not sure how many screws uh, are really needed to open it. You see, not that many. So, unlike the production series, this is completely different. You see it's a, a mock-up model. The PCB of the Sinclair Spectrum is just there for the look and feel from the back so that marketing was able to shoot photographs for the brochures. So they took a production motherboard of a Sinclair Spectrum and cut it in pieces with a, a heavy machine. So the chips are really cut by this uh, machine. And uh, everything really handmade just to have a mock-up of how it looks. The top of the case Similarly, you see the white material which has been painted with a spray and uh, you see no real keyboard. It just looks like a keyboard. The keys are really glued on it. 
left so this is really amazing and it's an exciting moment for me especially as I also have a personal relation to this machine I know the industrial designer who designed most of the Sinclair products uh, from the early 80s Rick Dickinson quite well uh, he became a friend of mine and uh, I'm really proud that I now own one of his uh, models and uh, I will make sure that it gets a good home and if one day I will uh, decide to uh, to give up my collection I will uh, contact Rick and ask him if he would like to get this unit so that it's not lost somewhere okay so folks that's it for today I'm really exciting excited to get uh, two shipments in a week with two rare uh, units but this one tops everything that's really only exists one unit like that uh, on earth and uh, yeah hope you enjoyed it and uh, take care have a good time bye bye